I'll shake them up shortly. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Charlotte. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone, to this special digital meeting of Cabinet um, held by our teams on Wednesday, the 16th of December. Uh, welcome, everyone, um, to the meeting. Um, do we have any apologies for absence? Yeah. Uh, yes, leader. Um, uh, Ed, Ed Edmonds, uh, Corporate Director for Education and Corporate Services, and Steve Harris, um, our um, Financial uh, Officer in Section 151. Thank you. OK, thanks, Christina. And um, I do believe we've got apologies from Councillor Ridgewell and Councillor Phipps. Thank you. If you can have those recorded, thank you. OK, on to declarations of interest then. Uh, councillors and officers are reminded of their personal responsibility to declare any personal and or prejudicial interest in respect of any items of business on the agenda in accordance with the Local Government Act 2000, the Council's Constitution and the Code of Conduct for both officers and councillors. Does anyone have anything to declare? Silence has nothing to declare. Thank you, everyone. And um, so the only item on the agenda today, uh, because of it's a time sensitive nature, is to is to receive the draft responses to the South East Wales Corporate Joint Committee Regulations 2021 and the Town and Country Planning Strategic Development Plan, Plan Wales Regulations 2021. I'll hand you over to Councillor Gordon, who will um, move the report. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Leader. Uh, before I go to the, um, the main report, i just give a brief explanation on CJCs. Uh, corporate joint committees allow certain council functions to be delivered more effectively and strategic strategically at the regional level, making more efficient use of council resources. The functions currently being proposed for delivery through CJCs are transport, strategic planning and economic development. CJCs offer a consistent tool to local government to support strategic planning and delivery at a scale where it makes sense to do so. In our case, the 10 local authorities that comprise the Cardiff Capital Region or City Deal. Through the leaders of each of the City Deal local authorities on a one member, one vote system, CJCs will have to align the key strategic decisions which underpin the sustainability development and transformation of regions at a, at a whole. Scrutiny arrange, arrangements will also be established. Working regionally and collaboratively is nothing new for local government. There are a wide range of collaborations already underway and many of these will not need CJC's arrangements and will continue as they are. In previous collaborations, however, considerable time and effort has been absorbed in creating and recreating the practical working arrangements for joint working. For example, agreeing which authority will lead on finance, which will be the employer, and which partners need to be involved. CG CJCs will be local authority led and will provide a ready-made structure through which certain council services can be established and which can employ staff and all budgets. With our leader, I'll take you to the purpose of today's report. The purpose of the report is to present the members for their consideration the proposed draft responses to the regulations that establish corporate joint committees and associated regulation that establish the procedure for preparation of strategic development plans. The closing data for return of each of the consult consultation is the 4th of January 2021. The regulations currently being consulted on by Welsh Government implemented the state of the intention to create regional corporate joint committees to deliver three functions, strategic development plan, regional transport plan, the econo economic well-being function. The CJC will operate over the same geographical area as the Cardiff Capital Region, City Region, with the inclusion of the Brecon Beacon National Park for the strategic development function. The intention being to allow Council to evolve the current regional approaches to city deal and growth deals and CJCs. I'll take us straight on to the recommendations now, Chair. Recommendations, the members note the contents of the report and endorse the amended draft responses. Reasons for the recommendations today to allow responses to both sets of draft regulations to be submitted by consultation and date the 4th of January 
2021. I move the report, Chair. Thank you, Councillor Gordon. Councillor Stenner? I'd like to second recommendations in the report. OK, thank you ever so much. Um, OK, can I um, um, ask Kath Peters to come in um, to see if there's any more, um, anything more she needs to say on the report? Thank you very much. Morning, uh, leader and cabinet members. Thank you. Um, nothing really much more to say other than to just to confirm that the response has been developed with officers across the council, um, uh, representation from uh, elected members yourselves and the opposition leader of the play group as well. It's building on responses which have been developed by the WLJ and by the city deal. And, and just to uh, remind you that we've got the head of infrastructure and the head of planning in today the meeting as well today, so they will be able to answer any specific questions. But I'm happy to take any. Thank you. Uh, thank you ever so much, Kath. Um, are, are there any questions for officers? Councillor Morgan? Uh, yes, th thank you, Leader. Um, Kath, I would, as you know, I, I've, um, I fully support the, the uh, responses to the consultation. But one of the things that, that has been concerning me is it, it doesn't seem to be written in there in an explicit enough manner. Um, the, the role of the constituent councils when it comes to um, governance. And I'm not talking about governance of um, the general day to day things such as um, audit or finance, the, 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 the things which a committee does. What I'm talking about is, is the main strategic reports which impact on those constituent councils. I think there needs to be, um, in our response to this consultation, we need to be saying that those reports should be going to the constituent councils relevant scrutiny committees. Um, I wonder if you could consider that. I think that, that it's an important thing enough from a democratic point of view that it could be written in there to the response to the the um, first consultation question, I think. Okay, um, thank you, Councillor Morgan. Uh, you, you are right. There is um, no detail at the moment in the regulations around how um, voting, etc., would be constituted and how information would come back into the constituent councils. They are a set of establishment regulations, so they just set up the structure and functions of the CJC. Um, there will be a further set of regulations, the regulations of general application and a set of forthcoming guidance, which may include further details around those type of arrangements. So we have put some information within our response to question three. Um, at the moment, it's um, as you rightly say, that it's the responsibility of the leaders, or there will be scrutiny committees set up underneath the CJC um, and is constituted at the moment as one member, one vote, but that would be a matter for the CJC once they for, they're formed to consider. Um, it is collective decision making, and the way it's drafted at the moment, it will be the responsibility of the member of the CJC to, to take the views of council into any decision making. So it isn't stipulated in there at the moment about how that. Um, dialogue occurs between the council and the CJC. So, um, of course, we can put some some um, further information into question one if, if that's required. Yeah, just 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 yeah, if you could make that amendment. Um, it's just that one line just just to reinforce the democracy and the feeling that uh, this council would like to see those strategic reports come through our scrutiny committees. OK. OK, thanks, Councillor Morgan. Christina, did you want to come in on the back of what Kath uh, Peters has just said there before I bring Ross in? Thank you. Yes, thank you very much, Lita. Um, you, you, the point that you raise, uh, Councillor Morgan, is one that's within our gift anyway. You know, what you're referring to is our own sort of decision making framework and governance arrangements, which, as you're aware, are firmly established. And certainly any, any significant decision that is being asked of any of our members representing the authority on the CJCs and their constituent sort of um, uh, bodies certainly would f uh, find its way into our own scrutiny um, work programme and indeed into our own cabinet work programme. So anything significant 
um, you know, would make its way through our internal governance arrangements in order then to equip the respective member when they are taking that decision in that regional environment, that they have that that full backing of the of the authority before taking that decision. So personally, I don't think there's anything that we need to add to the consultation document because that is one that is very much within our gift. And certainly we would embed it in our um, normal decision making um, arrangements. Thank you, leader. Okay, could Councilor I come Wall, back? Quickly, yeah, yeah, and then I'll yeah, bring just Dr. Ross. Say, yeah, just yeah, th thanks, uh, uh, Chief Exec. I, I understand that, that it's within our gift. I, it's just something that I would like to see written into um, our response, um, just to make that explicit. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. Okay, Christina? Yeah, thank you. Um, we can make that explicit. Um, I'll work with Kath just to put a form of words in there that just, you know, it's not an ask of Welsh Government. It's more of a statement in terms of recognising how we will deal with the mechanics um, back at the ranch for this. Thank you. OK, uh, Councillor Whiting, yeah, I know you had your hand up. Yeah, thank you. Lita. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the, uh, the the responses that we're putting in here uh, today, and in in addition to the amendment that uh, Councillor Morgan has uh, has mentioned. Um, and I think you know they they touch on some of those big issues that we all know about with with CCJs and and are making a response to. So my my question really is, you know, as, as more is more, as more comes out about how these CCJs are going to work in practice, um, what further opportunities will we have to exert our influence and to be further consulted beyond the response that we're making today, you know, as things move on in the future? Um, Lida, I think that might be something possibly better answered by the chief executive than myself. <laughs> yeah, I think. Thank you very much, Kath. Thank you. Um, you, you know, members, you, you, you're well aware that, you know, we are firmly established in, in the Cardiff capital region and, you know, with, with the, us being the fifth largest council in Wales, you know, we have uh, some significant influence there, um, albeit that the governance arrangements are on one member, one vote. So, um, you know, that that's the way that it's currently set out. But in terms of influence in the direction of travel, you know, that is there through us being represented in all the different parties of the Cardiff Capital Region. So, you know, we have a key role to play there in influence in uh, the direction of travel. But I suppose coming back to Councillor Morgan's point around how do we ensure that the council as a whole and all the backbencher members, you know, are, are, very part, are very much part of shaping this journey. I think it's back to what I said earlier on in terms of making sure it is embedded in our scrutiny work programme, in your cabinet decision making uh, programme. Program and if if needed in, into council. So um, you know it's very much influence in the direction of travel, both at a political and officer level, and we are firmly around that table to do that at so many different levels. But it's just ensuring that it's all you know um, picked up in our in, internal governance arrangements. And you'll be aware that we have scheduled um, in, early in the new year a member seminar on the Cardiff Capital Region, and certainly this uh, part of it will feature very strongly within it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christina. Absolutely. And as you say, we've got um, one scheduled uh, seminar scheduled for this, you know, which is really, really important to keep bringing everyone up to speed in terms of where we are with that. Councillor Morgan. Yeah, just to say, just to ask that um, obviously the, the, these um, consultation questions are going back to Welsh Government and they are looking at drafting these uh, regulations now. Do we have a further um, chance to comment on them w once they produce those drafts or, or those regulations or the draft of those regulations. Okay. Christina? Yeah, um, I think the dialogue has been ongoing throughout, um, you know, the uh, evolution of this consultation document. I know there's been many political discussions around this, and certainly the, the leaders across Wales have had many conversations with the local government minister, and similarly through, you know, the various channels that I have and uh, the officers uh, who are here today. So that dialogue is ongoing, and um, this is actually part of the, and um, Kath, just correct me if I'm incorrect, in terms of the local government bill, so it's actually making its way through um, statute as part of the local government bill. So um, certainly my understanding is I think the dialogue will continue around the consultation documentation because, um, you know, certainly the way that we conduct our business as an authority is and is that we respond to consultation documents such as this from Welsh Government, but we ensure 
that we have those conversations around uh, around the document with the influential people and the decision makers in the process. So that will continue, uh, Councillor Morgan. Thank you. Okay, absolutely, and I just want to echo that in terms of in terms of the political leads, you know, in in the regional cabinet, for example, on the CCR. Absolutely, these conversations have taken place, and we've been in um, talks with the local government minister around this and how it should evolve. Um, and how it would it would work for us. So, you know, there's still very much that ongoing conversation. Thank you. OK, um, if there's no more indications um, um, and no contributions, I would like to um, pretend, move to the Councillor Morgan. I was just wondering if Kath had perhaps um, got some idea of the, the, the drafting of that sentence. That's, that's all. Um, I, I think uh, Councillor Morgan, as offered by the Chief Executive, I'll work with the Chief Executive on something to, to go into um, question one sort of immediately after this meeting um, and we'll come up with some wording that reflects your views and um, our consideration of how the interaction between the Council and the CJC will work. OK, thanks. Thanks, Gaff. Thank you. OK. OK, so everyone, um, the voting card has just come up now, so if I can ask you all to um, go into the voting card, please. Let's hope our internet lasts. Okay, that's everyone. Thank you, that's unanimous, and thank you for that. And um, Kath, I'll, um, we'll, uh, we'll await then the, the formal words from yourselves then to be inserted. So thank you, every, and thank you for the work on that consultation document, uh, and thank you to all officers that have contributed as well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And that concludes the meeting, everyone. I just want to say thank you very much and bye-bye. Um,